now it's on to round three. Test of honesty and bullshit. That we call... Liar's Poker! Uh, Liar's Poker. This is where it gets medieval, people. In front of you, you'll each find an envelope with a card inside, as well as a small amount of anthrax. <laughs> On that card is written an interesting personal fact. Do not open them yet. An interesting personal fact about yourself. For one player, the fact is true. The other two players are lying pricks. Yeah, go ahead, Chris. Oh, yes. So go ahead and open up and read it. Let's read it out loud? Yep. <laughs> now do yourself quietly. In high school, I once pissed myself during a magic show. <laughs> I am allergic to semen. <laughs> I was a sex columnist for my college newspaper. Mm, that one I can believe. <laughs> All right, now we have to ask questions to decide who is lying and who is telling the truth, because only one of them is telling the truth. <laughs> that is correct. That is a correct restatement of the rules. Chris. I'm just restating them Chris. by somebody to my left. Yes. <laughs> Chris, do you like magic? Do I like magic? Uh, I like magic uh, as much as I like uh, like crackers or having a wallet. What, well, what was the trick you were doing when you pissed yourself? Uh, it was holding, I was essentially, it was a little disappointing because I didn't even actually get to be, like you know a lot of times they bring a volunteer up and they'll cut that person in half, which yeah. is what I thought I was volunteering to be. I actually was volunteering to be like, the girl in the sequin bikini. So I came up and held one end of the rope while the magician then brought up other audience members and did stuff with them. So I, li I was literally- Was this in San Francisco? I'm confused. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I was literally like as good as like a hook or a doorknob. Um, and basically what happened is before the whole thing started, I had to pee really bad. And it just kept on going because the trick didn't go well, so we'd bring up more audience members. And finally, it got to be so bad that my brain said, what if you pissed now? <laughs> the astronaut's way. <laughs> yeah. So I did, and uh, it was a great relief, but, you know, it was, you know, I pissed did myself. Did the audience see it? A little bit. A little bit. I think so. Well, it's high school. And you can, yeah, you can smell your... Yeah, I believe Chris is urinated tonight. <laughs> Do you have any questions for either Eric or Maggie? Based on um, Maggie, what was the title of your most celebrated article or column? Well, come in your face, come in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's a callback. Yeah, the callback is when you bring back another joke that happened previously earlier on. Yes, that's our professional term for it. Employee <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a callback. Okay. I think probably my best calm was the one where I sort of just, it was at the end where, you know, I'd, I'd gotten to college, it's hard to believe I was a virgin when I went to college. <laughs> I was in the communications dorm, so basically they didn't have sex, they just watched Star Wars every night. Only <laughs> Christina had been there. And so I thought, well, if I have a sex column, maybe that will sort of push me to... Drum up some business. Drum up some business. <laughs> <laughs> Northwestern American Prestigious Journalism School. Who's that girl who's writing about hand jobs? <laughs> I, I gotta be her. So I, I think that was probably my most popular column. Was the Were you name. able to fuck R2-D2 after that column? <laughs> Double callback! <laughs> they call that a boomerang. <laughs> In Germany. Uh, it would have scared the nerds. <laughs> I, we didn't discuss that. And what was, the, what was the name of your column? Please? I am allergic to semen. And how did you know that? <laughs> the honest truth is, we're not talking about human semen, because then I would be allergic to my own semen. Oh, we're talking no. about bull semen. I worked on a farm, I tried to work with the bull, and I got a tremendous rash. Where's Kelly? <laughs> Did did this, did you have to go to a doctor and have like you know do like the allergy test? No, no, they sell like bath and Cheetah semen, stores. puma <laughs> semen, Christina. <laughs> 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 it, 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 it a topical ointment. Well, I have a good feeling, but you know. What is your feeling, Christina? Because I'm sure it's really good. 
<laughs> Matt, who do you think is telling the truth? I agree with Christina, I have no idea. Well, certainly not Maggie. Um, <laughs> no, I was, I, I'm sorry. I, telling the truth, I think it's Chris Tallman. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go with Chris Tallman. But Maggie's a smart know. girl, the fact that she pretended to forget something. No, Maggie, I wanted to fuck Maggie all Christina. night. <laughs> okay, we okay, we think Chris Tallman is telling the truth. <laughs> Will the real truth teller please stand up? And the other two sort of fake stand up. 